Welcome back. Today in this video, we will be looking into the solution for the problem that we often face in JMeter. That is regeneration of Apache JMeter root certificate for the, that we use for the purpose of recording the JMeter script. So imagine you have a you have regenerate you have generated a certificate and then it's expired after seven days by default. So now you have to regenerate. More often times, what we find is we will find some difficulties or challenges in regenerating the uh, root certificate. Be it could be reinstallation of JMeter or it could be regeneration of the certificate after the expiry of the certificate after seven days. So, so there are certain steps that we can follow to regenerate the certificate uh, successfully. Right. So, in order to regenerate the success, uh, certificate successfully, you should find uh, you should first install JMeter and or you should have JMeter already installed and then you should know the location of the uh, bin folder where the certificate uh, resides. So if you have already located, you can skip these two steps. Otherwise, I will be walking you through them. Right. So let's dive into the action. First step one is to find whether the certificate is available in the bin folder. Right. Since I am using Mac, uh, and uh, when you install JMeter using Brew, install JMeter on Mac, the location of the bin folder is different from when you install the JMeter manually. Right. So when you install manually, for for example, that will be the bin folder from the uh, from the JMeter directory you unarchived and uh, located in a specific directory on your machine. If you have installed it using the brew, you will be finding that location like CD. I am I'm directly going to that location, user local seller. Right. Here I will be finding if there is any directory called JMeter. So JMeter directory is there. I am going inside and I am typing this. Again 5.3 version is there. I am go going inside and let's see here we should find a libexec directory where we will find the bin folder. So go inside that bin folder. You can find <coughs> if there is any certificate with crt dot crt that should be star dot crt right so the command not found oh yeah i didn't use the grep so there is a certificate available in my location so what i do is i will get rid of this certificate right so instead i can walk you through this location by using the uh, directory explorer or folder explorer called finder in the Mac machine and you can go to the location by pressing command shift G and paste the location of the pin folder here you will be seeing the CRT certificate now what I do is for the purpose of solving the problem that we are uh, going through right now I will be deleting this also I will be deleting one more folder, sorry, one more uh, file that's called proxy server.jks. JKS is meaning JMeter key store where it has uh, stored a couple of, uh, I mean, where it has stored some information around the uh, uh, key stores that will be controlled by, uh, that will be, that, that will control the JMeter, uh, Apache JMeter certificate that we deleted just now. So now we have set the ground for us <coughs> to regenerate the certificate, right? So to regenerate the certificate, what we need to do is we will open the JMeter and go to the terminal again, just say JMeter command that will bring up the JMeter in few seconds. Let's give some time, it's kicking off. Right. <clears throat> yep, Jemeter is back. And now what I do is I will be right clicking on the test plan that exists, go to add and all the way go to the down where you will find non-test elements. In this, you will be having an option called HTTP or HTTPS test script recorder. Select that option 
and you will be seeing this window and uh, that's it and again go back to the test plan right click add threads and thread group we will be adding a recording controller that's lying under logic controller that's called recording controller right so this is in order to record your script automatically we have to let the gemeter know we are using the recording controller uh, <coughs> option under the thread group so uh, now go back to the gemeter uh, go back to the https test script recorder and you will be finding this little um, play icon called start when you click on this option right now <coughs> it's trying to find the certificate in the bin folder right and then it will give us some pop-up that says there will be a certificate generated in your bin directory and it's valid for seven days right so what i did is earlier i removed the uh, certificate so now if i go back to the same location and then we will be finding this root ca.rt again and also the jks file that we deleted these two were deleted before we regenerating this right so that's how we can regenerate these certificates right so this is very important for us to record our script using jmeter when you are walking through the steps in the uh, website using browser now the jmeter certificate that just regenerated has the validity of 7 days after 7 days you will have to regenerate this again right so in order to maintain in order to avoid the regeneration of certificate for every one week you can customize the validity of this certificate in uh, by using user properties of the jmeter so what i do is i will be opening jmeter.properties and then right click open it with any of your favorite editor and i will be opening it with <coughs> vs code I am searching for validity. So now it highlights the default validity for certificates created by JMeter that is proxy certificate is 7 days. Right? So now you can customize this to let's say 365 days which means your certificate is valid for 365 days. So that way you, you need not you can avoid regenerating the certificate. I am resetting the value to 7 days back because I don't need it right now. So I am just setting it back to the uh, default value. So now I closed it and now we are good to regenerate the we are good to generate the script by using HTTPS recorder. Once you click this, it will again uh, it will display the pop up. Click OK. Now you will be you will be seeing a pop up that says recorder transactions control. So you can choose any of these prefix or transaction name and start working through your website. So do remember, it's not just that. Uh, it is ready for recording in the browser you have to set the root certificate that we generated right now into the uh, in the browser as well that way jmeter that way browser traffic will be intercepted by jmeter and jmeter can record the actions that you do in the browser so for that in the chrome obviously you go to privacy and security options of our main certificate option and click on main certificate option and you can import that into the browser that will be another video that i am coming up with so for now in this video what we did is we regenerated the certificate that is required for our test script recording and also we have seen the location of bin folders on Mac machine, if it is Windows machine, the location will be obviously user, local, program files, user, program files, and then the jmeter slash bin like that. So for that, you can uh, search Google to find the default location of the jmeter on, on Windows. Right. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please leave me a comment so I can get back to you in case if you face any problem in solving this. And I wish you a good day ahead.